Hey everybody, I'm legendary beer league goaltender Kane Van Gate, and today I'm working on some very specific save selections, one being the Panda, which has been a very hot topic lately in the goalie world. So by you watching this video, whether you're a goalie, a defenseman, or forward, it's going to make you way smarter. Here we go. So in order for me to stay on top as the best beer league goalie in the world, I got to stay on top of all these different save options. feels like every year there's a new one coming out. Reverse, there's overlap, there's VH, there's RVH, now there's the Panda. I got, my, I got a lot of work to do, so let's get started. Reverse, or RVH, is, stands for Reverse VH. VH stands for Vertical Horizontal, which is this save selection where you have your pad here boom used to see this back in the early 2000s quite a bit you still see it sometimes on uh you know if someone's like flying down the wall like an austin matthews and they try to rip her from like the corner you might see it but for the most part you're seeing goaltenders go in rvh or what i call the reverse which is this this allows us to cover the post and be ready for a pass across, boom. And we make an easy, and most importantly, six save. What are some of the disadvantages of the reverse? Well, some of the disadvantages of the reverse are some goalies are using it too much. And when a player walks out, all this net is exposed, right? Another disadvantage is those sharp angle shots, zipping them right by our ears and sniping. We don't like that. So the last game I played, my cameraman wasn't there unfortunately, but the last game I played, I was working on my re reverse quite a bit and I had two pucks go right up over my shoulder right here. And I went home and I said, you know what, KVG, as I was looking in the mirror, I said, I've had enough of this. All right, the reverse is great, but I need other options. So I decided to explore the Panda. The Panda, from what I understand it, explained by Brian DeCord, one of the best goalies, goalie coaches in the world, he says it's a bit of an overlap where your pad is in front of the net and you're in reverse this way and you're facing this way and not the shooter. So let's see how, let's see how this one, let's see how this works. So this is the Panda. I've got like an overlap on the post but I'm square this way, I'm not square to the shooter. This feels so weird. I don't know how I feel about this, but well, I'm stopping everything, so that's kind of good. All right, so far so good. <laughs> all right, dude, I'm, all right, I'm confused. This whole panda thing is like, I don't think I understand it. All right, I'm gonna call my buddy Cass. I'm gonna call Cass. What's up, Cass? How you doing, buddy? Hey, I'm doing good. It's been, uh, been a while. Yeah, man, it's been a while. So first, before I get into what I need your help with, I want to say your channel has been awesome. I love all the videos. I love the content. Sweden looks beautiful. And um, yeah, great job. But hey, on that note, though, one of your videos was on the Panda. And it was yeah. super informative. You know, you had one of the best goalie coaches in the world, Brian Decord, kind of explaining that. I feel like I learned a lot. However, I, I don't know. I feel like there's something missing with the Panda. Like I kind of, I don't know. I'm wondering if you can just kind of help me ex explain it to me and then also kind of give me some examples of when I could use it in beer league. Cause the whole point of me training right now and talking to you right now is I'm the best beer league goal in the world, obviously. And I want to stay that way. Right. So even I'm humble enough and down to earth enough to realize like, Hey, you could never be too good. You always need to evolve and have an open mind. So here we are. Yeah, yeah, the infamous panda. I mean, it's a it's a good tool in the toolbox, but not not for everyone. I can say that. But okay, that makes sense. So, like, when I do private lessons with like seven year olds, we shouldn't focus on the panda. Um, or should you can. we? You can. It could be a little little part of it. Okay. But yeah, it, it's a it's it's a very specific play on on very small angle shots so okay so like 
All right, so I got my net right here behind me, as you can see. So if I'm on these dead angle shots, like how I understand it, it's kind of like reverse and overlap combined. And yeah, so you're, so you're basically in an overlap, um, but you're, you're square to the middle of the ice, so you're not square to the puck carrier. Um, oh, that's, that's weird. If there is a pass yeah. in the middle, Okay. So you don't have to rotate all the way around, kill time, and then push over. Now, that way you're almost already squared to the other guy. Okay. The other threat. Okay. I think, I think that makes sense. And you know what? That actually, that actually just gave me a whole nother idea for like a new save selection. I think I'm just gonna, I think I'm gonna make up my own too. So I was a little worried. Yeah. So you know what? I just got an idea. I'm going to make this a video and I'm going to, this is going to blow up. Like I'm going to come up with the next save selection. It's going to be awesome. So just stay tuned. Like what you probably got like 10, 15 more years of playing pro. Now you got like 20 more years after you see my next video. Oh, perfect. I've yeah. been struggling with the panda, so I can't wait, can't wait to, uh, for you to teach me some things. Yeah. So I definitely, I'll probably teach you a lot of things. Um, but while I got you though, like, so Brian Decord, I'm a big fan of his. Uh, I'm sure you know his son Joey plays for the Kraken. Um, if Brian was my dad, I'd probably play for the Kraken too, if I'm being honest. But anyhow, is there any other insight that you learned from Brian that you kind of want to share with me that wasn't in your video maybe? Um, yeah, I think it was a very open discussion when we were going, go, like going through it. Um, different plays, if the puck goes behind the net or if the puck moves more to the middle. It's it's a very read based save selection, I would say. So, okay. Uh, yeah, it would help when Curtis McElhenney was there. We kind of just kind of talk about different different things, but yeah, Brian is great at um, you know just explaining his his vision and um, yeah, he it, like his points made a lot of sense, but I can see it's not um, especially a guy like. C Mac, who's been who's been around the league for a while, and he's got his own ways of, of doing things. So he was he was questioning a little bit, but yeah, I'm um, sure he can he could get something out of it as well. Okay, yeah. So it's just sort of like have an open mind. So Curtis McElhaney, he's now obviously pro goalie for a very long time, and now he's moved over to being a goalie coach. So I'm gonna blow his mind too with this safe selection I'm just coming up with. So all right, thanks. You gave me everything I needed to know. Like I said, like the light bulb's going off. I think I have a new safe selection. I'm going to change goaltending forever. So I'm pretty excited. All right, dude. Because you go viral. That's all that matters. That's all. Yeah. Like obviously just views, likes, and sub subscribers. It's, it's what's mo most important, right? And like sa saves and wins are important too. But all right, dude. Well, thanks for your time. Best of luck in Sweden. Like I said, you're doing awesome. Big fan of the channel. Big fan of you as a goaltender. Appreciate your time, man. Keep it up. Yeah. Thanks, man. It's been good to see you post some more videos as well. Thanks, dude. All right. Hope the family's doing great, man. Enjoy the holidays. Yeah, you too. All right. See you, buddy. You guys, I think that conversation with Kaz is super helpful. Not only is the panda a little less confusing, but it made me get an even better idea. Okay, so listen up. There's a new safe selection, something I've been working on for a really long time, and I feel like now I've got it down. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I'm going to show you the squirrel. The squirrel's going to change the face of goaltending as we know it. Let's go. So all these goalie coaches are focused on these post-play integrations. So the goalies have coverage to make a save. So they're ready for a pass. So they're ready for a rebound. But not one of them, not one of these save selections, prepares the goalies for all those things, plus the Michigan, the Datsuk, or the Kucherov, or any of those stupid moves until now. From now on, goalies, whether you're in the NHL or you're playing 8U House League, you do the squirrel. So here's the squirrel. This is super easy. I butterfly, I give them short side, I take it away, they cut this way, I put my stick here, I cover, I get a little overlap with this pad, and then I get this pad completely covering the net up here. I wish I was taller. If I was, there you go. And then you cover that top corner. Here, uh, let's take some shots so these people can see how effective this is. 
Whoop, this goes. See, he's got nothing. I've got everything covered. Everything's covered, especially if you overlap. Everything is covered even if you overlap here. Oh, baby. See, everything. And then even, hey, try to cut. Try to cut to the middle and make a move, I dare you. See? See, and then you just do that. That's all you gotta do. See? Piece of cake. No one has ever Michigan here or here or here or here. Everyone Michigan's right there. You guys already know that though. All right, yeah, so I'm here. I give you a short side. I take it away. Then I go here and then I, hold on, I, was, I wasn't ready. Hold on. All right, so you get your pad here and then you cover and then, okay, I'm ready. See, and they got everything covered. Everything's covered this way. See, right? Oh, I forgot. I Hold on, hold on, hold on, time out. I forgot, just in case you try to Datsuk or do something. See, everything is covered. We all learned something today, right? You can do R, you can do VH, you can do overlap, you can do Panda, you can do reverse, and now you can do the squirrel. So I bet a lot of NHL and pro teams are probably gonna reach out to me to become a goalie coach, but too bad. I'm still holding on to the dreams of playing. I still have more t-shirts to win. Um, but if you want me to be an e-bug, e I'll do that. But I'm not ready to coach in the NHL yet. I have a lot of more saves to make. Squirrel saves, for example. Like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. I got a special caller here today. Hey, everybody. Just, uh, <laughs> just hit on my buddy Cass to talk about the Panda and the Reverse and all that good stuff. You know, just trying to stay on top of Beer League. He's the best goalie in Beer League. Self-proclaimed. But, uh, yeah, we're just working on a quick quick Panda video here helping him out. So, uh, he gave me a call, and that's that's what's up. Check out KVG's channel, right? Yep. Cane Van Gate 38, best Beer League goalie in the world. <laughs>